NFT creators like Beeple are taking the world of NFTs by storm. The digital landscape is already swarming with NFTs, whether they be e-trading cards, original tweets or crypto gaming characters. But now, they're set to emerge from the digital realm and find a place in real life art galleries. And in this video, I'll break it all down for you. But first, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay across the latest videos from Kaokai. CryptoPunks and Bored Apes are set to be put on display in a Christie's or Sotheby's near you. As reported by Decrypt, different art galleries are displaying the NFTs in a unique manner, trying to grab maximum attention. The love affair between art galleries and NFTs though is actually not new. Art auction house Christie's earlier sold a Mike Winkleman, better known as Beeple Collage, for a whopping 69.3 million US dollars. Christie's also teamed up with the Andy Warhol Foundation to mint five non-fungible tokens from restored and preserved files of the artist's 1985 collection, Andy Warhol, Machine Made, which were recovered from floppy disk back in 2014. Now that sold for a combined total of 3.3 million US dollars. Sotheby's on the other hand, conducted a week-long auction of Natively Digital, a curated NFT sale. Now this collection, which begun its sale on June 3, 2021, netted an astonishing $17.1 million and featured nearly 70% of new buyers. The new buyer stat in particular bodes well for the future of NFTs, indicating a broadening interest base. It's not just buyers though, NFTs have been gaining eyeballs from artists, both old and new, celebrities as well as corporate giants. Visa, Nike, the NBA have all made a sizable investment into the space. Celebrities like Lionel Messi, Tom Brady and the latest entrant former NBA superstar Shaquille O'Neal are not shying away from trying their hands in the world of NFTs, whether as an investor, as a muse or otherwise. So ultimately, whether it be endorsements, inspirations or features in physical art galleries, the trend in NFTs is growing acceptance. As to what constitutes art is an unending debate. Many are still coming to grips with some of the pieces at Tasmania's Museum of Modern Art, but they'll have a whole new digital world to embrace now too as NFTs look set to stay and their acceptance by art galleries and exhibition houses is a testament to that fact. If you enjoyed the information contained in this video, then please like, share, subscribe to the channel, drop us a comment about what other crypto related info you'd like us to break down, and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay across the latest videos from Kalkine. For more information, just head across to the website, kalkinemedia.com. I'm James Preston, reporting for Kalkine.